This story about Syrian refugees is different from any other one you'll hear in the news. It takes place here at the Azraq refugee camp in Jordan, a camp that cost over $60 million in international funding to build and receives millions of more in aid every year. But a revolutionary project that costs only $10,000 is changing the lives of thousands of refugees, starting with children. My name is Max Frieder. I am the co-founder and co-executive director of Art Illusion, and we paint murals in different communities around the world. Max and his partner Joel started Art Illusion because they believe that art can create positive change in traumatized communities. And right now, the refugees in Azraq are desperate to improve their lives. So in this very difficult environment that looks kind of like a concentration camp that is in on the moon, it's a very indescribable place. And if you do have the basic necessities, water, food, and, and shelter, why would you want to wake up in the morning? What do you do when you have young people who have been traumatized, who have witnessed their, their family members uh, dying, who have been, you know, we've met kids um, who have been tortured. We've met kids who have uh, you know, lost their entire families. Art Illusion picks up where traditional NGOs leave off. When basic needs are provided for, how do you begin the healing process? We, we arrived and I was working with Joel and we had all these kids being able to come and paint. It was a lot of drawings of, of uh, airplanes dropping bombs on people's houses, of people with their limbs blown off, of people who were dead, um, people who were running. And, and so we had this conversation, right? So you're looking at all these drawings of all these kids and you say, okay, so how are we gonna tell an inspiring story, right? How are we going to look at all of these pieces of art and what is gonna come out of this? Nobody could answer. And then one little boy in the back raised his hand and he said, what if we show a hammer and nails to represent us rebuilding our homes in Syria? And then another boy raised his hand and said, what if we, what if we showed planting seeds and we could show uh, flowers glow, growing in our gardens that we will plant when we go back to Syria? And it started to kind of trigger this amazing series of events where all of these kids came up with all these ideas about how they can take the trauma that they've been through in the past and make it into something inspiring for the future. So we started to paint these images and they wanted to paint birds that, that, that would move back, back home into Syria. They wanted to paint animals that would be living in their gardens. And so we painted all these animals and all these stories about rebuilding. So when we arrive and, and we have that first conversation in that first workshop, we don't know what we're going to create. We don't have any you know, preconceived ideas. We want to see what they want to say. The ultimate product of this process is a beautiful work of art. But these guys aren't settling for one-off murals. They want to know that their work is creating lasting change. We don't just come into programs, but we provide education for local artists to continue to do this work ongoing. What's really important is giving opportunities for these local artists to be able to run their own programs with youth in the camps that can go all year round and can be sustainable. It can be something that really uplifts the community. It's something that matters far more than just painting a picture. It's being able to discuss issues and feelings in very complicated situations in a productive and a healthy way that's really needed both for children but also for their families. And that's been probably one of the most powerful things I think I've seen, especially in the beginning, is seeing the parents watching their children painting and then going and participating. That's been one of the most incredible things. These very, you know, depressed looking children in a depressed looking environment, yet seeing a kid covered in paint, loving life, is such a fascinating kind of anomaly. And that's one thing I've said many times and I think a lot about it is just that it's like seeing people at the worst times in their life at their best. I love you, I love you. <laughs> I'm Max. And I'm Joel. And this, this is Art Illusion. Rally on!